Hey everyone, Melissa here, and I'm so thrilled to finally be back with you on the Coco Vanilla Studio channel. Um, this will also get uh, posted on my channel, but if you are watching it on the Coco Vanilla Studio channel, you may have been wondering where I've been. Um, we moved towns in July. We moved three hours from where we live in Queenstown to the coast of South Otago. Um, so if you know New Zealand, we're at the bottom of South Island, but we've now, um, we were inland in Queenstown, but we've now moved to the, like, the right side um, of the bottom part of the South Island. So it's a massive change for us. Um, I've changed careers completely. It's been a major, um, I guess, a family upheaval, but it's really awesome, and we love it here, and... Um, if you follow me personally on my YouTube channel, you'll know that I got really, really sick with um, this virus called the RSV virus. And it's, in my opinion, it's worse than COVID for children. Children have ended up on um, ventilators and things here in New Zealand. Um, anyway, Ava and I got it. Well, we believe we got it. We never got tested, but I mean, heck, it was really bad. And that happened just before we moved. And so we got here and that happened. We got worse. Well, I got worse when we were here. And it took about five or six weeks to get over that and then get settled and everything. So my voice was terrible. I was not in any state to make videos. Um, I could make them, but I, I couldn't voice them over. I just I did a couple when I was a little bit better and they sound absolutely terrible. But anyway, all that to say, that's where I've been, but I'm back now, and um, I've got the beautiful These Days collection, which is the newest collection for Coco Vanilla. As always, Zoe is an incredibly talented lady and knocks it out of the park. So I'm going to make a layout today with this photo of Brielle with her little collection of TY toys. She absolutely loves them. And I thought, because this collection is so soft and pretty, it's going to go really well with this photo. So probably wondering what's happened here. Well, I want to use both sides of this paper called Take Flight. So I've got all the butterflies and I've fussy cut out, I think, two of each colour. And there's lots of different tones and in these butterflies. I love it. Absolutely stunning. Then the other side, well, the A side is this white with like a pale black polka dot. I had thought about fussy cutting some of these. I'm still not sure. I think I've got other plans for this paper. Um, love that side as well. Oh, and so actually there's the A side of the Take Flight. And this paper, I don't know, I may use it. It's called Family Ties. Um, I will definitely use it. You know that I love to cut apart these striped papers and put them back together in interesting ways, so I'll probably do that next month. But that's what I've pulled anyway. Um, let's turn it over. I've also got the wood buttons. I always want to call them flare, but the wood buttons. The die cut ephemera. Puffy stickers, the puffy hearts, the floral ephemera, it looks like I've pulled everything. Clear stickers, mini puffer alpha, and I really want to try and use some of these foam title stickers. So, thinking maybe sweet, I don't know, we'll see. So that is my plan, and I'm going to get started. So, the first thing I wanted to do was cut the branding strips off and then work out how I was going to use these two pieces of paper. So I knew I wanted to use the paper with the stripes, and um, I, I sort of thought ahead before I started filming and thought that I wanted to do a diagonal design where I use half of each of these two papers and essentially have a page that was built with two triangles. So I was going to measure that, and I amazed myself because I... Um, just freehand cut it because my metal ruler wasn't long enough and I couldn't be bothered measuring anything. So I just grabbed my scissors and freehand it and amazingly it turned out almost perfect. So here I'm just playing around because I want to make sure I've got the stripes going in a way that is pleasing to my eye. Um, I've got some double sided tape down rather than glue. I, just, I don't know why I just decided that would be easier this time. And as you can see there, it perfectly uh, meets on either side and it's pretty much a straight line. I've distressed it though, I just love the way that looks. Now I would have machine stitched it but my machine has snagged um, really badly. I haven't even fixed it. I think it happened about a week ago. I haven't had a chance to fix it and I really need to work out what's going on with the tension. So at the moment my sewing machine is in the uh, 
uh, what we call it the too hard basket. I don't have time at the moment to deal with it. I will deal with it. Um, I thought about um, hand stitching, but I think that would have been just too much on that edge. And in the end, the distressed and slightly lifted look looks perfectly fine. So I've got some papers from the A5 paper stack. I used this for my last layout as well. So I've got some bits that look like scraps. And I just selected three that were going to work with my photo of Brielle and her TYs. So I'm just distressing the edges. I cut each um, square larger than the next one. And I want these ones to be uneven. So I've just put them at a sort of slight angle. Stapled them to save myself using glue. And then um, for my photo, my layer of the photo, I have glued and double side taped it. Double side taped it. So here, then I've got this whole um, stack of papers and I'm just adding some of the craft foam just to lift it up. And I like doing that because then I can tuck things underneath. So now I've got some Distress Oxides, I've got um, Kitsch Flamingo and the other one, perhaps you can just see, I think. Abandoned Coral. So they make quite a nice, um, if you mix them together, I'm trying to get a toned down version of the Abandoned Coral because I think it's quite full on. And the colours in the These Days collection are a bit more muted. So that's what I've done there. And I've done the packaging technique. And here I'm using, and let me grab it because I can't remember what, exactly what it is called, but it is Nouveau Shimmer Powder and Jade Fountain. I'm just using some of that to add some splatters. It's very subtle. I mean, looking at the layout now, I can definitely see it, but it's subtle, and I just like the way it looks. So I've put most of my mixed media is on the left side because that's where the white paper is. Now, some of you might be freaking out, thinking, why did you not... Um, why did you basically stick the white paper on top of the entire piece of stripe paper? Two reasons. I've got a few pieces of that paper, but I also wanted to have kind of double double the strength of the paper, just because I knew I was putting that mixed media on. Um, you know, you may want, to, if you do this yourself, you may want to glue it onto cardstock. It's up to you. I just went what was went with what was going to work for me. So. Um, here I am just adding some dimension onto that cut apart from the A5 paper stack. Live each day with a grateful heart. That because she loves those TYs and really looks after them and is quite grateful for them. So I thought that was perfect. It also brings some of the white from the black and white over to the right side of my page where that stripe paper is a lot busier. So now I am building my layout or my embellishment. I've got the gorgeous gorgeous ephemera pack die cut ephemera and I knew that I wanted to have my title from these foam stickers these are beautiful they've got these I mean the font is stunning and you've got capitals and then you've got like letter font I guess with a capital letter and the other letters in lowercase so I was going to call it always sweet because she is always sweet but I could see that the word sweet wasn't going to work with the larger letters and um, I think with the, is it ascending T and also the S, so both letters at the beginning and the end, but happy worked really well. And one thing about Brielle, um, I think I've probably said this on my personal channel so many times, that she's always happy except when she's not happy. So that basically means that she's a very, she has a very happy disposition and um, yeah, it's pretty easy, pretty easy going at the moment anyway. So now I'm wanting to just add some flowers onto this layer because it is so girly. And I did think about fussy cutting the floral paper, but then I decided I have other plans for it. I think I said that at the beginning. So even though I have other pieces of that, I just decided not, um, not to cut the flowers. But this um, floral pack is amazing. There are flowers of different sizes. Some of them have leaves. Some of them are those like those little sprigs that you see there, like buds or berries and there are also some black and white leaves in there as well of varying sizes. So I'm just going through to start with and putting down the um, coloured flowers and then I'll go back in with the black and white leaves. So I really wanted to get that, I think that little flag banner thing said love but I couldn't make it work but I did get this little, um, little signpost stand that says home and I just think that's really sweet. 
so I was really really happy to get that onto the layout. Now I'd fussy cut all these butterflies, I um, didn't really have any plans for them but because I went to the effort of fussy cutting them I decided I definitely have to get them on the layout so I put a yellow one on their sofa and it kind of reminds me to use them and I'm happy to say that I do get all of them onto this page. I also wanted to use another one of these little um, puffy hearts they are not adhesive backed so I've just added some liquid adhesive and it works totally fine you could also use a little bit of hot glue or a glue dot so lots of options you could staple them too but um yeah I don't want to staple it I just like how it looks without anything else added to it and what I love is that it just adds a little bit of shimmer and shine to this layout which is I guess quite matte and um toned down in color so just going around now and adding these butterflies, I'm wanting them, I'm wanting it to look like they're kind of flying, um, they're flown over or flowing towards the photo and then they're flying away from it and I just, yeah, I love how they look in the end. So realizing I wanted to add another little flower there and I needed it to be a blue one because I had enough uh, pink and yellow going on there and just needed something else. What am I doing now? Yeah, seeing if I could add any more of these black and white leaves and also these little hearts. Um, I think the hearts had come out of the packet from the last layout I made and I definitely wanted to use them up so I didn't lose them. So, Adding some Dimetro adhesive behind the wings. Most of these butterflies are glued down the middle. Well, all of them are glued down the middle and most of them get about four little pop dots just to lift their wings up to make them look more realistic and looking at the layout now it makes a huge difference when you um, add dimension behind butterfly or moth wings they look really cute they look more realistic so when I fussy cut them they have got the antennae I've cut all the white off around the wings but when it comes to the antennae and a bit of the bottom um, like I don't know what you call that part of the butterfly the stalk bit that goes through the middle, there is a bit of a white border and that doesn't bother me at all. So now looking at the puffy stickers, trying to add some finishing touches on here, I've added some of these tiny little adorable hearts and I think yeah, I'm going to add a little watering can that says love grows here. And other than that, um, I think for this one I do my journaling off camera and then I go in and add a, a few add sorry add a add a few black spreaders just for some fun and movement. So that is my layout. I hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll be back again in a couple of weeks. Take care.